Hi everyone, Lando Assistant here, and here is our answer to puzzle number 17. First, here is the puzzle. We have six line segments at our disposal. The respective lengths are 1, 2, 3, 2018, 2019, and 2020. How many different triangles can we build out of them? And explain your answer. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math puzzle. And if you already know the answer to this puzzle, please write them in our comment section. Now let's solve this problem together. In order to solve this puzzle, we need to recall first the concept of triangle inequality. The triangle inequality states that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the remaining side. Let's begin by drawing this blue line segment and let the length of this blue line segment be equal to B. Then let's draw this other line segment and let the length of this pink side be equal to a. Now, the value of the third side would depend on the size of the angle between the intersection of sides B and A. And so we can form this third side. But notice that the blue line can be rotated counterclockwise this way, and the pink side can also be rotated clockwise direction that way. That means, depending on this angle in between these two sides, the value of the third side could assume any value and let that value be our variable x to show that the third side could be any length subject to the restrictions of the two sides. That means if I rotate the blue side this way, there is certain point where we need to stop rotating otherwise we no longer have a triangle. And that happens when we have this degenerate triangle. The sum of the lengths of the two sides of a triangle is equal to the length of the third side. And that way, our triangle is no longer two-dimensional. That becomes a degenerate triangle. In our case, we want to avoid that degenerate triangle. And so we impose some maximum length for the third side x. And clearly from this figure, we have shown that the length of the third side x cannot exceed the length of the sum of the two sides a and b. In inequality, we can write it this way. x, which is the length of the third side, must be strictly less than the sum of a and b, which is the sum of the two other sides of the triangle. Now, notice that if we rotate this blue side counterclockwise direction this way, there is also this positioning where we need to stop otherwise we no longer have a triangle. And that happens when the two sides, A and B, coincide with each other, and therefore, the third side, X, must be the difference between the longer side and the shorter side. That means there is also some minimum value for the length of the third side, X, in order to form a triangle. And so we impose this condition. The difference between the two sides must be less than the third side. So the minimum length of the third side is a minus b. The maximum length of the third side must be a plus b. And writing these two inequalities as one continuous inequality, we can now write it this way. The third side x can assume values between this minimum value, a minus b, and the maximum value, a plus b. And this is now the concept that we are going to use in order to solve our math puzzle for today. So applying now this concept to our puzzle, notice that we have here lengths 1, 2, 3, and 2018, 2019, and 2020. To make our solution systematic, let's group together all these short sides into one group, and let's group together all these longer sides in another group. Applying now this triangle inequality, how many triangles can we form given that the sides are 1, 2, and 3? If we add any two sides, let's say 1 plus 2, based on this triangle inequality, that sum must be greater than the third side. But 1 plus 2 is not greater than 3, it's equal to 3. On the other hand, if we consider 2 and 3 as the first two sides, A and B, that will also violate this left side because 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 
is not less than the third side one because they are equal. So that means there is no triangle that can be formed given the lengths of the sides to be one, two, and three. Now let's go to the other group. Get the sum of any two sides. Is the sum greater than the third side? Yes. You get the sum of the first two, definitely that's greater than the third side. There is no problem with the right side of this inequality. How about subtraction? If we subtract these two, would the result be less than this big number? Of course, yes. So there is no problem with the left side of inequality. That means we can form one triangle given these three long sides. So we now have one triangle here. Next, we are going to cross between this group and the second group. Is it possible for us to take two from this smaller side and one from these long sides? That is, if I add any two of these short sides, that is a plus b, would the sum be greater than the third side? That's not possible. If I add 1 plus 2, it cannot be greater than any of these numbers here at the right. Even if I add the two bigger numbers here, 2 plus 3 is 5, that cannot be more than any of the elements of this second group. So we cannot have 2 from this side and 1 from the second group. So the third case one big and two small would result to a zero triangle. Then let's go to our fourth case. Let's take two from the bigger group and one from the smaller group. So let's begin by taking one and combine that with any of these three sides. We have one, 2018, and 2019. That cannot be a triangle because if we add one plus 2018, that is a plus b, that is not greater than 2019 because 1 plus 2018 is equal to 2019, not greater than 2019. For the second in the list here, this will violate if you add 1 plus 2018, that is A plus B, that is only 2019. And that cannot be greater than the third side, so you cannot form the triangle. Also here, if you add 1 plus 2019, that's 2020, still, you cannot form a triangle because that violates this part that says a plus b is greater than the third side x. That means if we take two from this bigger group, one cannot be an element in this small group. So we can remove that one. Now, how about pairing two with any of these three longer sides? Let's get more space here. So we can have two paired to 2018 and 2019. If you add 2 plus 2018, that is indeed greater than 2019. If you subtract any two sides here, let's say 2019 minus 2 is 2017, that is indeed less than 2018, or you subtract 2 and 2018, their difference is 2016, and still that's less than 2019. So there is no violation with this triangle inequality. So we put a check mark here. How about 2 paired with 2018 and 2020. If you add any two sides, that must be greater than the third side, but there's a violation here. If you add 2 plus 2018, that's 2020, that is not greater than 2020, so this is not a triangle. So this is a degenerate case of a triangle, which we do not count in this case. Next is pair 2 with 2019 and 2020. The sum here is greater than the third side, yes. The difference is less than the third side. That's also correct. You can check with any combination of the sides here, and still, this triangle inequality is not violated. So we put a check mark. Then starting with 3, pair that with any two sides here, let's say 2018 and 2019. If you add any of the two sides that is greater than the third side, if you subtract any of the two sides that's less than the third side. So there's no problem. And then the next case is 3 paired with 2018 and 2020. If we add, that's greater than this. If we subtract, that's less than the third side. So there's no problem. And finally, 3 paired to 2019 and 2020. And again, there is no violation with the triangle inequality. So considering all these four cases, how many triangles do we now have all in all? We have one here. There's another one here, another one here, and three more here. A total of six triangles that can be formed using these measures of the six sides. And so this problem 
is now solved. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.